I want to start off by saying I'm just like you. I thought CapCut was a joke, something for newbies to learn how to video edit their little TikToks. But after using it and finding some features, it's actually really good. And I'm going to tell you three reasons why in this video. And the third reason may blow your mind just like it did for me. So if you didn't know, CapCut does a great job doing auto caption. So all I have to do is click on this video, go over to text, and then go to auto captions and choose English, which I did, and hit generate. Then you'll notice it's gonna do its thing and it'll create auto captions for my video. Now I know other programs do this like Premiere, but I just feel like this does such an easy job and such a great job with it that I like it a lot better. Now once it's done, you'll notice that I have all my captions in this red above my timeline and all I have to do with them selected is go over to templates and then choose what kind of captions I want and then you'll notice it works great. Let's do reason two why I like cap cuts so much and why you should take it seriously. If you notice in my videos, there's a lot of jump cuts and I do that because I like to keep your attention. So the old way of removing the pauses is going to here, put your blade tool, cut this out, go over to this pause, go here and then cut out the middle and you no longer have the pause. But in CapCut, they make it really easy to get rid of these pauses automatically. Just click on the video, go over to this tool that says remove filler words, and then what it'll do is it'll analyze your video, look for either ums, which are filler words, or for pauses. In this case, it found three pauses. Then come down here and hit delete. And now check it out. All my pauses are gone and it's replaced with these jump cuts that I'm gonna put in my video anyway. Okay, last but certainly not least, and this is the one that blew my mind. So let's say you made a video in the past and you wanna go back and you wanna grab some B-roll from that video, but you're not sure where the actual raw footage is. Well, CapCut has this insane feature. So if you notice here, I'm gonna bring this video down. This is a video I made with the Elgato capture card versus a generic one and you can see me talking I have all this it's already edited that's the whole point it's already edited but if I go up here to my media browser and I right click and I hit split scene watch what this does so now if you look at the media browser you'll notice that it's separated all the clips so now I have the b-roll of just the split screen the b-roll of the actual capture cards already split apart and it went through that video and essentially just deconstructed it for me so I don't have to go and find the raw so those are three reasons why I like CapCut so much and why you should take it seriously now all these features well at least I think most of them are in the pro version of CapCut, which is about 10 to $11 a month. I would recommend buying it. I am not sponsored by CapCut. I am not getting any money for this. I'm just a content creator who, like you, thought Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve were the only things to edit on because we're such high class. But in reality, if you wanna make reels, if you wanna make your workflow shorter, or if you want an editor who just get down and dirty and do stuff really quickly, I think CapCut may be worth your attention, or at least, should be taken seriously. I'm Ken, thanks so much for stopping by. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Go out and make something. This thing just blows my mind. I should have used this a long time ago.